So there are many points to consider when starting any website. And in this video tutorial, I'm going to go over some of the main points that I feel are, are very important when starting any website. So the first is domain and hosting. So for any website, you'll need uh, domain and hosting. So if you're not familiar with what domain and hosting is, um, domain is for me, it would be muse for you shop.com. And the domain is muse for you shop.com or you can, you know, google.com is a domain and it goes to Google or any, any web address you type in, that's the domain of that website. Uh, so that's the domain and hosting is where you'll get space to host your website on the internet. So I use a, a very trusted hosting domain and hosting provider. And if you go to museforyoushop.com and you go to website starter kit, uh, they're called Bluehost and it's a trusted and reliable web hosting company that I use a lot for my websites. So if you click on it and you click on get started now, you can select your uh, plan and it comes with a domain name um, and hosting for your website. So you can choose different plans and once you get your plan, you'll have hosting and uh, a domain name for your website. And after you get this information, this is the information that you'll input into Adobe Muse so that you can upload your website and make it go live on the internet. And I'll get more into this in a later video tutorial. Very good. Another factor to consider when starting your website is the layout of the website. So you can create your layout in Adobe Illustrator. And I'll go to File, New. And for the width, uh, the default for Adobe Muse is 960. And uh, 960 is the default for a lot of websites. Uh, and because Adobe Muse uses adaptive design, uh, it has a fixed width of uh, 960. The default is 960. And the height, you can set it to whatever you want. Um, and you can change the height. So I have a 960 by 2000 uh, page here. And I can simply design my website in Illustrator first so I can get a feel for how all the il different elements are going to look on my website. Very good. I'll change the text here a little bit bigger, kind of center it. So you can do things like this, uh, add different elements. And the beautiful thing about Adobe Muse is that if you actually create your entire site in uh, Adobe Muse, uh, you can actually copy and paste certain elements from Illustrator into Adobe Muse, and it'll include those elements as vector graphics in Adobe Muse, which is very, very nice. There's a, there's a good synchronization between Adobe Illustrator and Adobe Muse. So as you can see, we have our layout, um, and it just makes our design flow a little bit easier. Uh, when we know where all our different elements are going to go and when we know what our web page is going to look like. So that's uh, Adobe Illustrator. You can also do it in Adobe Photoshop if you're familiar with Adobe Photoshop. Okay, very good. And the next thing I consider when, uh, when designing a website are images. So again, if we go to museforyoushop.com and we click on website starter kit, or excuse me, we click on free resources. I have a bunch of free resources here uh, for free, uh, royalty-free photography for your website. And one that I like to use a lot is Unsplash. They just have great images and you can really do a lot and add a lot of interest to your website with some of these great high quality uh, images. They, they're really nice quality and uh, they're free. They're royalty-free so you can use them for any project you'd like. And there's a few other ones too that are also royalty-free and you can look through those and get more images through those. Uh, you can get inspiration uh, so you can see you know, how you want to design your website and the layout. Uh, there's different tools if you want to compress your images so that the file size is smaller, uh, you can do that as well. And you have then there's color.adobe.com so if you wanted you know, a color palette for your website, uh, you could do that as well. So here are the different color palettes um, and you can just explore through the various ones. Okay, so that's just a quick overview of some of the things that I consider when starting a website. Uh, obviously, you want you know all the information necessary for the website, 
Uh, you want to make sure you know the purpose of the website, uh, what's the intention, and kind of what you're going for so that it's easier uh, for you to add different elements to your website when designing it. Um, and I'm going to make another video tutorial on what to do after your website is done, but uh, hopefully this was helpful. And uh, yeah, I'll see you in the next video tutorial.